I want to simplify the left fraction so that it's equal to the right fraction. So the way I'm going to do this is notice that I have 100 in the denominator for these three fractions. So let's multiply top and bottom by 100. Okay, so this 100 goes away. I'm left with 1 half to the n. And now this 100 has to distribute to both the 99 over 100 times 1 over 6 to the n and the 1 over 100 times 1 half to the n. So if I multiply to the first one, that 100 is going to cancel. And I have 99 times 1 over 6 to the n. And if I multiply to the second one, this 100 cancels. And I'm left with 1 half to the n. Notice that in the answer here, 1 is left in the, in the numerator. rather. So let's multiply top and bottom by 2 to the n. That's going to cancel this. And I'm going to be left with 1 over 99 times 1 to the 6th n times 2 to the n. So this 2 to the n is going to uh, distribute here. So you basically get 1 6 to the n times 2 to the n plus, and then 2 to the n times 1 half to the n is going to cancel, and you're just going to be left with 1. So that's the same thing as 1 over 99. Factor out the n's. We have 2 sixth n plus 1. And that is 1 over 99 times 1 third to the n plus 1. Let's see what we have here. So we have the 1. We need an 11, but we have a 9 here. 99, rather. And then a 1 here, but we have a 1 third n minus 2. So we're going to go one step further and break up the 99 as 9 times 11, or 11 times 9, rather. And 9 is 3 squared. So we're just going to subtract, because we'll be dividing you know, 3 squared by 3 to the n, right? because this is 3 squared times 1 over 3 to the n. You'll be subtracting these two, which will be 3 to the 2 minus n. Or that it's the same thing as 1 third n minus 2. And then plus 1. So this is what we wanted to finish with, as you can see.